On Friday, the president announced he'd be pardoning former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio, longtime darling of right-wing extremists for his program, randomly locking up and abusing brown people. The controversial sheriff faced up to six months in jail for violating a federal court order. He ran a jail that he described as a concentration camp. Prisoners there died at an alarming rate, often without explanation. Under him, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office failed to investigate hundreds of sex abuse cases, many of which involved children. In 2013, a federal judge confirmed what literally everyone in Phoenix knew. He'd been racially profiling Latinos. So naturally, he hired a PI to investigate the judge and his wife. He also kept on profiling people, which is why he got charged with contempt of court. By 2015, his fondness for racial profiling had cost the county more than $44 million. He wasn't just a tough sheriff, but a cruel and incompetent one, faking clearance reports for serious crimes while abusing the power of his office to arrest and intimidate journalists, judges, and county officials. Legal analysts agree the timing couldn't be any more suspicious as investigators close in on the president's alleged ties to the Russian mob. NYU law professor Bob Bauer writes, the president has managed to make a very clear statement about the rule of law in his government, and he's miscalculated if he somewhat imagines that it won't come back to haunt him. By demonstrating his willingness to issue pardons without bothering with the trouble of bureaucratic due diligence or concerns about political backlash, the president has sent out a subtle and implicit message to former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and former campaign chair Paul Manafort. Hang tight, I have your back. Remember, this all happened on the same day the president officially banned transgender people from serving in the military and fired Deputy Assistant Sebastian Gorka. All the while, a Category 4 hurricane was bearing down on Texas. If you're getting whiplash just trying to keep up, maybe that's the idea. If you found the information in this video helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can find me again.